I'm Greg, one half of Radford Homes, but this is my main man right here. Um, he's a veteran. He tells you how to go and get bankable financing. Yeah. Okay. Um, he, yeah. he, he's, he's a very humble guy, got an MBA, served 10 years in the military, and we're going to solve a problem right here at Business of Bourbon while we're networking. Talk to him, John. In this particular situation, I would recommend a home style renovation loan for a couple of reasons over a, a FHA 203K. One, FHA has mortgage insurance. We don't want that. There's no point to have mortgage insurance. So, um, and home style is a conventional loan. So, you don't But doesn't that require 20% down, it John? It does not. It does not require 20% down. So if you're really trying to, if you, if you can do it as less as 15% or 3%, but if you do 3%, PMI. 15%, you're going to have PMI. If you're doing investments, you don't want PMI. So my, my rule of thumb is always 20%, no matter what, if you can. If you can't, then it's still available. But unlike FHA 203K, a home style loan, you do not have to live in the house. It can be a secondary house. It can be an investment home. It doesn't matter. So that's why, and that alone, the fees on the FHA loan compared to conventional loan, completely different. And FHA had double. PMI for the life of the mortgage, right? Life of the mortgage. Life of the mortgage. So I would go home style every day over two or three k, no question. That. Okay, let, another scenario here. Let's say she has a house she owns free and clear. How could she partner up with a investor, a flipper, somebody that flips home, and use an equity partner? Or would you not go that route? Because I was thinking you were saying I wouldn't go that route. I, I would go try to route. go. Um, I know her. I know her, and I know she can do this. I would go to the bank and get a home equity line of credit because the home equity line of credit you can always draw out. It's like a credit card, as opposed to going to get like a refinance with somebody like me because you can only use that money one time. And now you got that bill. I personally would get a HELOC. I would just get a home equity line of credit, and then that way, when and then you and then you'll find you a general contractor or somebody who to, to oversee the project and put it back on the market and, and be done. And I and I would flip it. But now the good thing about that, once you get that household, you still got that line of credit. Yes. Um, now, like she's gonna keep it as a rental control. though. Yeah, but even if she kept the rental and she pays that line of credit off, she still has that line of credit. Unlike with a rental. Like with, with, with not a rental, but a refinance with me, you get that money that one time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That line of credit, you can use that for whatever you want. Yeah. So if it was me, I would go with a HELOC. I wouldn't even do a refinance. Plus the rates are going to be way lower on a HELOC than they are on a refinance. Well, Jonathan, um, tell them how they can reach you if they wanted to do this. Well, if they want to do a refinance or a home purchase, you can reach me at 813-915-6649. That's 813 813- 915-6649. And thank you for your service to our country. Thank you for your service too. Great mm -hmm. rap home, man. <laughs> well, my name is Talisa Quincy, and I am the proud owner of Prestige Mobile Notary Solutions and Prestige Concierge Solutions. If you are in the business of getting a refinance, you're a buyer or a seller, anything that has to do with your real estate transactions, I am the one that you should call. I make it very easy for not only yourself or for the lender or the title company. I will go to your client, be it morning, noon, night, weekends, or holidays. I make it simple, I make it easy, and I make it very, very convenient for you. I am sorry. Um, and my phone number, where you can reach me at, is 863 216 8548. Or you can also reach me at info, I N F O, at prestigecs.biz. Hey, and thank you for your service as a veteran. Thank you so much, battle. <laughs> All right. Yeah, look good. All right. <laughs> look, look at them here. Hi, my name is Alicia Lynch Martin. I work with BBC as a small business expert. I can absolutely add value to your company by coming, chatting with you, taking a look for free. Everybody looks for good for free. And looking at your business, seeing what we can do to help, make you some recommendations. Feel free to reach out to me. 863-519-2160. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Every time I do, he got to sign in. I got to sign in too, man. On the count of three, say Moselle. One, two, three. Moselle. I thank everybody coming out. And to make sure we stay true to our itinerary, we're going to get ready for our guest speaker. Now, this guest speaker that's coming to speak to us tonight, this is March. March is Women's Month. So, all the women. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. No further ado, we should get ready. I'm going to bring her up. Uh, I will say this about the guest speaker. When I first heard her story, not from her, I was very impressed. Uh, it gave me goosebumps. Maybe want to work that much harder, and you know when this uh, it's told me, showed me once again that uh, someone can tell you that something cannot be done, but if you're motivated enough, determined, resilient, you'll get it done. Okay. So without no further ado, we're gonna bring in our guest speaker. So make sure to give her undivided attention. So after she gets through speaking, we get to do a little eating, and then we get back to the fun. Okay. All right. So let's give a hand for Miss Lisha Mark. perspective and change the way that you live your life going forward from today. 